Hi folks, welcome to Capital Mind Snap. We're going to talk about futures and options charts today on Capital Mind Snap. What you have to do is just visit a URL, uh, snap.capitalmind.in slash charting slash FNO. We're going to quickly run through a few of those features that are made available. As soon as you visit, uh, you'll see the Nifty one month future. All uh, charts in this page are going to be only about Nifty futures and options or NSE futures and options. Um, the default symbol is Nifty. You can see E signs are expiry dates. So uh, this is a continuous future. So, <coughs> sorry, this is uh, uh, as of July and August, there was a Nifty future expiring in July and August during this period. So it's a continuous future. You can actually change this to say an hourly uh, contract and it will go back into an hourly mode where each bar is one hour. You could change the contract by clicking in here or just starting to type. You can just type Bank Nifty and we should be able to get the Bank Nifty one month future. We can also look at a Bank Nifty two month future, which is basically not the one that expires in the current month, but in the next month. So this currently is December 2015. So we're actually seeing the January 2016 future on a one hour chart in SNAP. If you just have to type anything, uh, any symbol, any stock, you can even type Reliance and minus two, and that will give you the Reliance next month future. In this case, again, January. We're looking at futures primarily here. We can also move into options by looking at the Nifty 8000 call. And this is just a symbol called Nifty 8000 CE. CE stands for European contracts. You can see this continuous future, this is an hourly future. And the reason you got this little jump is because till here on the charts was the uh, November future. We moved into the December future at this time and then that has fallen substantially because the Nifty has. What if you wanted to see only the December contract? We'll just change the symbol, we'll just say Nifty, but we will use 15 December. 15 is the year, December is the month and 8000 CE. That's where you would actually see the Nifty December 2015 call option traded. It only traded for three months. So if you go back a little, you'll find that it started in October and is ending right now in December. This is a great chart, but what if I wanted to see the Nifty alongside? If I wanted to chart the Nifty alongside with this, let's just see uh, add symbol and we'll add the Nifty here. What happens now is quite interesting. You're going to see the Nifty coming into this chart as a bar chart alongside. You can see the Nifty here. You can just plot it. And if you want to see the exact values that this needs to go in, you can change these to a candle and move it to the left scale. And we will just show you how the scale can be visible as well. So now you've got the Nifty on the left hand scale, the Nifty, the call option on the right hand scale. This call option fell from 500 rupees down to 10 rupees in the course of two expiries uh, over two months. This is an hourly chart. You could even go down to a five minute if you like. And in the five minute chart, again, you see something different come in. Uh, if you don't like the way both charts look exactly similar, change one of them to a bar chart or a line chart and you should be fine. This is the nifty there as a bar chart, the call option as a line chart. What now if you wanted to say, I want to compare two options uh, the way they have moved over the last few months. Now, I, I'm going to just quickly do that. About the 8000 CE, let's look at the 8100 CE and let's see if we can compare them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click this bar over here and we've got a nifty 8100 uh, uh, on 15th of December, uh, the call option. And I am going to hit compare now instead of uh, add symbol. And what happens then is that you see the percentage differences between these two charts on a regular basis. Now again, I'm going, to, I'm going to change this to a line chart so you can see the difference. The light blue chart is the 8000 call. The purple chart is the 8100 call. We're looking at it from... Um, six o'clock in the morning on the 8th of December 
and the percentage differences have been exactly the, you know they've been they've been slightly different but you you can see them being compared you could actually move um, uh, this again this is on the right hand scale you can move this to actual individual prices instead of a percentage comparison by going into options and saying I don't want a percentage comparison I just want the exact prices prices will appear here on the right where we can actually extend this substantially or we have extended substantially is in using symbols for straddle spreads puts put spreads call spreads and strangles we'll do a different video on that but you're going to love what we have and, and if you look at all the symbols that we can do you can do nifty nifty minus two that's the next one this is again a continuous future if you want to hold on to a particular uh, expiry date you just use nifty 15 december that's the exact expiry date and that will not be continuous it'll only be for the period that that option has been traded uh, you can use uh, any symbol with the PE and CE, and you can you can experience a char charting right on your browser. Uh, we hope you enjoy this. Uh, do visit us. We've got a ton of stuff for you. We've got premium as well, which allows you to see this and the analysis and our FNO portfolios as well. And of course, the Snap Data platform. Capital Mind, subscribe. We hope you like this.